Rick, could you pick two better wins than the Daytona 500 for the first career win and the second one at Indianapolis? It puts him in the playoffs. Michael, as a young man who was coming up through open wheel racing, did you ever dream you would win here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway? Oh, man, this is such a dream come true. I'm, I'm so thankful to everybody at Front Row Motorsports, Bob Jenkins, uh, Horizon Hobbies, Love Shop Soft Freight Auction, Chicago Pneumatic. Man, we had a fast forward Mustang. Uh, everybody at the uh, Roush H Engine Shop, Doug, uh, these, these guys gave me everything today. We had the fastest car. We executed, we did what we needed to do. Uh, just so thankful. So thankful to uh, still be grinding it out in the Cup Series. Um, to put on a performance like that, I don't know if it was dominant, but it felt pretty dominant to me. <laughs> Welcome to the playoffs. What were the emotions on those final few laps? Because Chase Elliott was closing quick. You know, I was really trying to pace myself. I, I figured there'd be a late race caution. I didn't want to burn my stuff up. So I was just trying to maintain that gap. And then when I got into traffic, started closing, I had to push it. But I just can't believe it. So thankful to Bob Jenkins, all of our partners, um, Bell Racing Helmets, Sparco. Uh, there's so many people that help us. Uh, so thankful to everybody that's stuck behind us. Uh, it's been a grind. and. I'm so proud. Did you think the path to the playoffs for your team was with a win and much less? I'll go with dominant as well, a dominant win. You know, I, I thought we could point our way in, but after the car that we had yesterday in practice, I thought, man, we got a good shot at winning if we could just get track position and maintain it. So uh, just, yeah, I can't believe it. So thankful. Uh, also, Wiley X. I don't know where they're at right now. They should be on my head, but um, they've been with me for over 10 years. and. It's, uh, it's great to have partners like that. Michael, what does it mean to have the family here to celebrate a win in Indianapolis, a place you always dreamed of just racing at, but it also puts you in the playoffs? Yeah, it's such a big deal. I mean, you know, winning the Daytona 500 was one of the coolest moments you could ever have. Uh, but going to victory lane without your family, that was tough. And so <laughs> we cherry pick. My family comes to the races we think we can win. We thought we could win this one. Just so proud. There you go, Michael McDowell, the emotion. Jamie walks in, he's in the playoffs. He wins at Indianapolis, a place coming up through racing, Rick. He dreamed of racing, now he's won it. He'll get to kiss the bricks in a moment.